All right, guys, we're gonna do it yourself, blue bucket challenge. Usually we do diamonds, but we're gonna show you our little tricks to do gold, copper, silver, platinum, and all those other precious metals you're trying to refine at your page. The most important thing, level. Make sure you're on a level playing field. So we know that we need to go up a little bit, get that centered. That's what we're gonna do now. Now a very important thing, jet drive. You can also use hydrogen peroxide and about 70 drops of lavender. I can take the actual jet dry, put it on the inside of the bowl. Make sure you use nothing abrasive. Now let's take that jet dry and let's get it all over the surface. What we want to do is we want to get that black sand, that magnetite, all those heavy minerals and sands. We want to easily allow them to be separated. This jet dry works here. Let's take this level out. And we are pretty much ready. All right. So now let's show you the setup. Quickly before we go ahead and run it. We have the blue bucket sitting in a smaller gray bucket that's going to go in an overall larger gray bucket. Now the smaller gray bucket has holes inside for it to filter the water to keep it as clean as possible as we're running it through the bowl. See the bowl is nice and shiny from that jet dry. It's getting ready to run. Size, size, size. It's very important to classify your material by size. So what we've done here is we've taken a uh, tea filter, a coffee filter. We've got our strain materials through here. Give you guys a quick show of the crop to sit down in, to get as much gold and as much fine particles of gold, silver, whatever it may be, out of your dirt. All right, so now that we've got some material, I'm going to place this over to the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some jet dry again, mix it in the actual dirt, and mix that again. Now I think it's usually best to let this sit for 5 to 10 minutes before we run it. So mix it up, let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes. And it's going to start the process of running it. Alright, so we have the jet dry inside of the blue bowl. We have the jet dry inside of our miner's pan with our concentrate. Let's go ahead and add some water get this baby started. Now there's many different methods. Some people say to add your concentrate as the water is going in, to add your concentrate when there is no water flow, to add your concentrate at a small stream while there is water flowing. There's many different ways. So you're gonna find what works best for you. I found out what works best for me is to get this as filled as much as possible. That's what we're gonna do right now. Without it going over. And now we're gonna stop this vortex a little bit. All right, we're ready to run. Now, as I said, some people like to add their concentrate as it's flowing or stopped. We're going to go ahead and do it as it's flowing. Kind of speed up the process, give you guys a home quick little view in an easy and simple way to get out your whole concentrate. Now, in adding material, I found out that it's best if you go right around the top side and let it carry itself around the rim. You're going to see what happens. It literally will suck it around the sides of the bowl, which what we're trying to do is use that, and drop to the bottom. Let's go ahead and start. You see how it's starting to collect on the sides now? It's going out a little bit too. Show you that. Can you guys see that? 
beautiful collection. You already see the gold dropping out. It's going out a little bit more. We got perfect speed, perfect vortex, the gold is dropping perfectly. This is how the machine should be running, guys. This is for your micro fine gold that is just impossible to get out in other ways. Alright, look at that. So now we're gonna slowly add a little force to that water, so let's give it a little more power, which I did. Sorry if the video is not steady, guys, I'm doing my best here to show you the process. With two hands doing four different things. <laughs> I just want to show you how that flat sand and that gold separate immediately. That jet dry does wonders. And remember guys, we're looking for that pattern. It's the most important thing. You can see it's starting to happen, so it means we're on the right track. Let's go and add just a little more. Velocity. There it is, look at that gold and that black sand is starting to separate. If you can look carefully, you can see the rim of sand. It's building up on the top edge, so we know we're on the right track. Alright, so our ultimate goal here is to create that starfish pattern. As we all know, it's all about shapes. It's a universal language. We're getting close. that black sand, that dirt, and the gold is all getting sucked in now. But carefully look at the outer layer, you can see all that fine gold is starting to pile up. And boy, it's a lot. So that was just one teaspoon, guys, to concentrate. So now they see that it's on a level playing field here. The jet drive is interacting. I see that we can turn it up a little bit. Just remember, as you see here, that sand is flowing over. But if you look carefully, any little fine gold or flower gold is kind of staying at the rim. That's your ultimate goal. So you have that vortex pattern again. great. So now, like I said, this is a very fine mesh. So what are we going to do is we're going to run that slower. So I'm going to come back in about five minutes, turn this down just a tiny bit, because the water speed will actually increase over the next couple minutes, just by the laws of nature. all that sand run now you see all the gold getting stuck even that fine micro gold getting stuck right at the ring alright now what we're going to do for that quick last final clean up We're going to go ahead and take a bottle, similar to your suction bottle that you're going to suck up the fine gold with, and you're going to carefully push all the concentrate to the outer end. You want to be careful 
right now because this bolt is very light even though it is denser and heavier than any of the other materials in here it's still smaller it's very fine so it has the want or need to float away so we're pushing all this concentrate as far as we can into the corner Now we went ahead and turned it up. Let's go ahead and remove all of that black sand that we can from this bowl. So here we are. You see we have a few pieces of garden and other heavy rocks and minerals that are kind of stained with the gold. And a little bit of that black sand, but she was a nice rim of gold around that, around that cone there. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and slow down the machine and uh, Suck it all after all that fine gold. So you can see here, slightly push it away. You can push it all together. Make a nice little pile of concentrate. It's easy to suck it all up at once. So you can either go that route. Push all your fines together, as you see here. Try to get the best angle about this light lamp inside. So you can either go ahead and just suck it up with your suction bottle right here. Or you can go around the rim. Suck up as much concentrate as you can. And then what you can do is do one final run at the end with all the concentrated black sand to really, really separate it. Thanks, guys.